you spell that? And last name. Very unique name. I'm gonna get your birthday. Just your birthday. Date of birth. Okay. Okay, perfect. And it says here that you want this to uh, be very detailed, but as well very, very fast. I got it. We don't want to waste your time here. So let me just ask you, how did you hurt your head? Okay, so you were hitting your alarm in the morning to turn it off, and it turns out that you uh, missed the alarm and hit your head on the floor. Very understandable. That happens all the time. Now, I just want to let you know, everything I talk about today is going to be between you and me. We don't share with anyone else, and also your comfort is number one, so if you don't want to answer a question, you don't have to. Okay, we got it. So, first of all, may I touch your face? Okay, so this is going to be a bit fast and aggressive, so I'm just going to ask you to touch your face and your scalp, just your face and your scalp. Perfect. I'm just going to ask you, do you feel pressure here? And then what about here? And then what about here? Now, do you feel pressure around your eyes? If I put pressure here, and then what about here? And then what about here? Okay, I'm going to put pressure on your scalp. I'm just going to quickly massage your scalp. Do you feel pressure or pain right here? And where did you hit your head? Here or here? Here. Okay. So, if I just massage that, do you feel that it feels a bit of uh, pain or a release of tension? Okay, release of tension. What about on this side? Pain or release of tension? Okay, and then quickly I'm going to just test your eyes. Could you just look at my nose? Good, look at my nose. Good, look at my nose. Good, look at my nose. Any signs of wobbling or wiggling with your eyes? Something that would make it very difficult to focus. Okay, now one more time. Look at my nose. Okay, good, good. Look at my nose. Good, good. And from the side, and from the side. Good. Now why you look up for me? Look up. Just look up for me. Look up for me. Don't look down. Just look up. Look up. Good. And then I'm just going to just carefully pull your eyes down a bit just to see if there's any sort of trauma that could be caused from falling. Sometimes we can have some blood vessels pop. Okay. Now look down. Look down to the ground for me. Don't look up. Look down. Don't look up. Look down. Look down. Okay. Just looking down. I'm going to just test your eyes here. It looks like they're fine. You can look back at me. Look back at me. Good. Now look to your left. Follow my finger. Look to your left. Look to your left. Look to your left. Good. 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 Now follow my finger. Look to your right. Look to your right. Look to your right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now follow up. Follow up. Follow up. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now to the left again. Good. Now down. Now to the right. Now up. Follow my finger. Very good. 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 Now if you could let me know really quickly how many fingers am I holding up. Okay. How many fingers am I holding up? What about now? And what about now? What about now? And what about now? Good. And are you having any problems with your eyes as of right now? No. Okay. So we're going to do a smell test. This is called the olfactory sensory nerve test. And I'm going to just let, let you know right now, there's no correct answer, but there's some that are pretty relative. I just want you to let me know which one do you think this smells like. And this is a little bit of a hint as to the color of what the bottle is. So I'm just going to ask you, do you know what this smells like at all? Does it remind you of anything? Perhaps something at all? Anything at all? Can you smell it at all? Okay, and what does it smell like? Very strong. Okay, and similar to a plant. Very good. And what else? Perfect. That was peppermint. Very good. You're doing great. There'll be a couple of them that are going to throw you off. So, next we're going to grab this one again. This is a bit of a teal. It's a bit of a teal. A bit of a teal. Just a bit of a teal. Um, I'm just going to try this one really quickly. And I'm just going to put this right close to your nose. And what do you think? Any ideas? It smells similar to the first. Okay. So, okay. Any ideas with this one? Similar to the first. Okay. Very good. And it's strong. That's good. And what does it remind you of? A bit like tea. What would you say it is? Kind of like mint. Perfect. It's eucalyptus. You're doing great. And again, there are going to be some that are going to throw you off. Like right now. This one might throw you off. So, bottle and that's one this one personally reminds me a bit like of a carnival or something um uh, smells like candy very good anything in particular yes a bit like popcorn that's perfect this one's kettle corn you're doing good okay now this one's been unique 
meaning that your eyes are reacting to things that are getting too close to it. Sometimes when your cranial nerves are damaged, that actually doesn't work as well as we think it would. I've had a couple of concussions in my life and sometimes my eyes would not dilate, so it's completely normal. Just checking to make sure that what happened to you didn't cause any damage. Okay, so we're just getting close. Keep looking at my finger. Very good. Very good. Very good. You're doing very good. So, next. I'm just going to quickly check through your scalp. This is a lice comb. I'm going to check for lice, but I'm also going to check to see if that problem area where you hit is a bit uh, uncomfortable or perhaps sore. We can put some ointment on it if that's the case. Okay. So, I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to get really into your hair right here. Okay. I'm just going to get into your hair. I'm just going to get a bit into your hair. Okay. I'm just going to use the comb a bit.